What did he say? What did you say? My vital. Where is she? Vital? Yes, Papa. Ah. Yes, she is. Come here, my man. You're going to be congratulated, Zaito. What for? You're going to be married. <coughs> married! What do you mean, Papa? Lane the wolf, the butcher, has asked for your hand. I knew it! The butcher? <coughs> what do you have to say, Zaito? What can she say? Let her say one word. My firstborn, a bride. May you grow old with him in fortune and honor. Not like Kumasa. That first wife of Lazarus, she was a bitter woman. <laughs> May she rest in peace. Not like my writer. Papa! Papa! What is it? Tell me. Papa, I don't want to marry him. Papa, please don't force me. Please. I'll be unhappy all my days, Papa. Please. I don't want to marry him. Please. Papa. <coughs> all right. I won't force you. Thank you. Thank you. Dad, Teddy, may I speak with you? Later, Martin. Later. But I would like to speak to you. Not now, Martin. Not now. I have problems. That's exactly why I want to speak to you. I can help. Yes. Like a bandage can help a corpse. <laughs> Goodbye, Martin. Goodbye. Papa, at least listen to him. <coughs> All right. You have a tongue. Talk. Then tell you, I hear you are arranging a match for Zaito. Ah, he also has ears. <laughs> well, I have a match for Zaito. A match? What kind of a match? A perfect fit. Like a glove. This match was made exactly to measure. <coughs> a perfect fit. Like a glove. Martin, stop talking like a teller and tell me who it is. Please don't shout at me, Rev Teddy. Or I won't shout. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? It's me. It's me myself. <laughs> it's him. Himself. I think you're out of your mind. Are you crazy? He must be crazy. Arranging a match for yourself? What are you? Everything? The bridegroom, the matchmaker, and the guests all in one. I suppose you perform the ceremony too. Please don't shout, Rabbi. Don't shout. As for me being my matchmaker, I know it's unusual. Unusual? It's crazy. But times are changing, Rathabye. The thing is, a year ago, Daitil and I gave each other a pledge that we would marry. But you are just a poor tailor. That's very true. But even a poor tailor is entitled to some happiness. I promise you, Rathabye, your daughter will not starve. Papa, please, Papa, for my sake. Papa, please. Papa.
वायरल शोल्डर वन शाल बी मेक द वेडिंग थैंक यू फादर थैंक यू just agreed to give his daughter away to Walter the tailor a marriage set up without a matchmaker crazy unusual something never heard of before in the jewish custom but what about laser wool how is he going to tell goldie what would she say <coughs> what would she do teddy thought over his heart and came up with a great scheme to tell goldie about it in a way that was shall we say easier for him people in those days were superstitious they believed in dreams and so chevy thought that he could trick his wife into a green for fear of his daughter to marry mortal the superstitious goldie is terrified to see pruma sara the butcher's dead wife coming out of her grave and she quickly counsels that mortal must marry zaitu Do this to 